بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ایکسپلورنگ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ٹاپک امپلیمنٹ رول لیول سیکیورٹی رولس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن ڈیزائن اینڈ امپلیمنٹ آ ڈیٹا ماڈل سو دس از اے ٹاپک دیٹ ہیز بین پینڈنگ فرام دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ اینڈ آئی انٹینشنلی لیفٹ آؤٹ دس ٹاپک بیکاز دس از امپلیمنٹیڈ ان دا desktop environment and then the role assignment that we are going to discuss in a bit is done in the power bi service so this topic is all about role level security and role level security is done in two bits part of it is done in the desktop environment and part of it is done in the uh, power bi service environment so in this video we are going to see whatever we can do in the power bi desktop environment and then we are actually going to take it to the power bi service environment in the next video so let's go to the power bi desktop environment first and see how this is done before i actually go and configure the role level security let me just very quickly explain what is role level security so role level security allows a single report to show data according to the job role so what happens is that once we create a report like we have created a maven market example report in all the videos that we have done where we want that only the people who have who are authorized or who have a specific job role they see their part of the data and they are not exposed to the rest of the data so for example we have six or seven regions in our maven market so if we assume that each region has a region manager and the region manager can only see the data for his or her particular region then we can do that through row level security and there are two ways through which row level security can be implemented the first one is a static method and the other one is a dynamic method so in this video we are going to explore the static method so the static method in row level security uses a fixed value in the dax filter while the dynamic method uses a dax function so here in the static method we use a dax filter or uh, and in the dynamic method we do not rely on a filter but in, instead we use a a couple of dax functions which configure the row level security in a dynamic method so the row level configuration uh, when once you do in power bi desktop and in power bi service there are total five steps so we are going to first look at the two steps that we do in desktop so the first step is that we create the row level security roles in power bi desktop by using the dax and then we test the roles in the power bi desktop so in this video we are going to focus on the static method and we are going to cover these two parts only and in the next part of this video we are going to use the dynamic method and then we are going to cover the all the parts in that particular video so let's go to the power bi desktop environment so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and i have created a simple table visual here which shows the product brand the sales region and the total cost and here if you see that in the sales region i can see all my regions so let's say we have a scenario where we do not want to expose the data of northwest region to the managers of the region who are working in mexico central so for that reason we actually create roles that are aligned with the sales region so we need to first create those roles and then we are going to impose a condition using the dax filtering so let's see how we can do it so in order to do that you have to come here in the modeling tab and in the modeling tab you are going to see that there is a region which says security which has two further options manage roles and view as so the first step it requires us to actually manage or create the role so i am going to click here on the manage roles first and this is going to create or oh, this is going to open up another window where i can manage or create my security role so here it says create new security roles and use filters to define the role level data restriction so i am going to create one role just for the purpose of explaining so i am going to name this role as northwest so i know that my region has a value northwest so i have created this northwest role here so this is the first step or you can say that the first step has this this first particular uh, part that you create a role then you actually go and find the column on which this condition needs to be actually imposed and for that we need to go into the option which is the regions option so let me just click here 
So now I need to actually create my filter and there are two ways to actually create this. This area which you are seeing here has been recently added to the Power BI functionality and this is a rule based area, uh, mechanism of adding a rule and then you have the option to actually write the filter expression in the DAX editor which was the previous method that was being used. So I will now cover the method which is the new method in this video and we will switch to the DAX editor in the other one. So here I have clicked on edit and I selected my regions because I know that my northwest region has uh, is, is part of the regions table. So here I'm going to just go and select the column. So my column is the sales region and here I want to give the value northwest. So this is how I have created this simple rule which is just saying that sales region should be equal to northwest. And now I am going to come here and click on save. And this should give me an indication that the rule has been successfully created. So this says that the uh, role changes have been applied. So remember two things that this area is where you actually define the rule. And this area is where you actually create the role. So this is the thing that you need to keep in mind. And now I am going to click on close. So the first part or the first thing that I needed to do in Power BI desktop I have done. And if you see here in this area, there is another option which says view as. So now I have the option to actually check if my role which I created through a rule is working correctly or not. So now let me just click here and click on view as. And here I can just go and select my northwest role. And then I'm going to click on OK. So now here, if you see that it is saying that now you are viewing as Northwest. So if I come in the table, I will see that now all the other values have been filtered out. And this is just showing me the results for the Northwest. So this is how you can actually test your role. If you want to stop viewing, then you can just click here back on stop viewing and you are going to get the uh, original visual back. So this is actually telling you that this is how it is going to look like when a once a role which is northwest is going to interact with this report. But then this part is done in the Power BI service and we are going to cover this part in the next video which actually covers the dynamic uh, rules and also the complete end-to-end -end process where you actually configure the roles in the Power BI service. So that's all for this particular video and I will see you in the next one.